giving you a voice, and making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Uh, we're going to be uh, wrapping up a little bit some event predictions. All right. So before we wrap up for tonight, let's talk about who is going to win this awesome event and any additional special shout outs they might want to make. So we asked all the hosts to come up with what alliances they would be facing off in the finals. So, Justin, to start off with, what teams do you think will make up the two finalist alliances and who will take it all? Well, I'm going to start by saying I really hate predictions in general. <laughs> but uh, if I'm forced to make one, uh, off the top of my head, I guess I'm going to say that uh, 1114 and 2056 get together for a little bit of redemption. I'm going to say they, uh, the Strike Brothers, Strike Force and Strike Zone get together. Um, and those would be the, the, the one and two um, robots on the finals. I'm not sure who their third robot's, robot's going to be. Um, and I say that uh, Canada takes it uh, in the finals. Christine, what about you? Yeah, I would say Canada takes it in the finals. Um, who they end up taking along with them is another story. Um, I do want to see 2056 and 1114 get back together. Perhaps 1241 in the mix with 2056 because I love Theory 6. They're one of my favorite Canadian teams. Um, I do think that we're going to see 195 in the finals, whether or not they are with 2056 or another Canadian team will be interesting to me. But I think that either way, 2056 will be taking it home. Just a matter of who they take it home with. Uh, Tegan, what about you? So, okay, I totally forgot to do this until just now. So I'm going through, and part of it's, like, what I think will happen. Part of it's what I wish will happen. So uh, I've got 2056, 1114, 1241, and 340 as one alliance. And that's competing with 3707, 195, 1073, and then 5511. Uh, picking them a little bit because it's, you know, I know some people on the team, but also they're one of those teams that played a bit more offense in their region and will have to do defense to get picked at this event from uh, North Carolina. So that'll be interesting. And then 340 and 2056 were paired up together last year. So wouldn't be surprised to see them as first pick and backup bot again. And then obviously I'm going to assume that Canada takes it. So prove me right, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, to, to circle around, I I think that, um, you know, well, money's on 2056 or 195 because they've got the most recent event wins for this event. Uh, I mean, 2056, I think, is it might be seven. You know, I maybe Tyler will text you if I'm wrong, Tyler. Um, but it, it, it's just an insane number, and they're insanely good at winning this event. So money has to be on 2056 to win the IRI. Um, I, I honestly think that some of these suction climbers might pair better but I don't know if they're going to be putting up points at the level of 1114. 1114 has, you know, great, uh, great autos that other teams may not hear. So uh, on the side of the cargo ship, it may be a better pairing there. So um, it, it could go a, it could go a number of different ways. If I was to say right now, I think it's 2056 with one of the suction climbers takes it. Interesting. I could yeah. see that. I was lazy, right. so I didn't come up with a list. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about right now? Uh, off, on the spot. Uh, just just oh guessing, Tyler, if you were just oh to boy. Say, <laughs> If RI was happening right now, who yeah. would you who would you put? Who would um, you put money on? I, I'm just going to give a quick aside from an update from the uh, – uh, drive coach. Oh, just said I can't mention it. So never mind. <laughs> oh, secrets. I really got to quit taking text messages. Text messages during the. <laughs> oh, man. I'll, if he lets me read this, it's funny. So, but I'll, I'll wait uh, just in case. Uh, I really like 2767. I mentioned before, I really like them to seed first. Uh, I'd be very interested uh, in that. Uh, I think that's a, a great opportunity. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people want to see 2056 and 1114 pair back up together. I don't think it's going to happen. You never know. Um, but I, to me, it's just like, I, I know everybody wants to see it, but it's, I don't know. It just feels like it's too cliche to a certain extent. Well, I think right? they want to see it. Well, too, probably. Though, don't they? But... You saw Karthik's reaction when they were in the same Ooh, division. Like... Yeah, so, <laughs> definitely did. But yeah, I mean, no doubt. Obviously they're, they're great friends. They're great buddies. They make a dynamic duo. Maybe it's just me being sore from 2012. Who knows? But uh, <laughs> with, I know, right. Going back. Like, by the way, 2012 is apparently like an ancient game now. Apparently, According to the that was before, before I did FRC. Yeah, so, it, yeah. It, Jesus. it is an ancient game now, which oh is crazy. God. Uh, but I will read off what Tyler Holson said because he said I'll go for it. He said uh, lots that the hosts have lots of faith in our team, considering we have done zero practice or preparation for IRI. <laughs> and he says, "Don't mention it because we don't want to make other teams feel bad." <laughs> uh, 
So it, yeah, you might be pulling our leg there. I don't know. Well, I, I don't any, know, man. So if there's any team that can show up off the bus and and dominate. It's yeah. probably. I don't think I've ever seen them break down. That's nope. the main thing. Like I know, you know, teams break down at the most inopportune times, and that's the one thing I really admire about 2056 is like the consistency is ridiculous. So that's why it's like okay, they don't need to practice. They can just show up, and all the bolts will be tight. And nothing's gonna fall out. It's just something like the way that the team runs, it works. Yeah. At IRI 2016, I don't think I ever remember seeing them on the practice field. I, you know, it just didn't happen. Uh, like <laughs> I, yeah, all the rest of us were were hounding that thing, and the robot was just sitting there, pit ready to go. They they build fantastic machines, and if yeah. you look at if you know about their build schedule too, if you saw man, I'm gonna plug another show. If you saw FRC Deep Dive uh, recently, their build schedule they meet like four days a week during the build season. I think off the top of my head, that's what it was. Mm-hmm. So like, and only for a few hours. So yeah, you know, a team like that just process, process, process. Right? They have the processes down where they can do things the way they want to, and they can still build fantastic machines at the same time. Doing it right. Yeah. Yeah, that's FRC done right. That's the team that's not going to get screwed over by no bag, but that's a different, that's a different conversation for a different day. All right. So before we get too much into that, that discussion, I guess we'll start to wrap up uh, this IRI preview show. If you want more first robotics in your life and like what we do, all we ask is that you let others know about the show. Uh, and this is the place to go for to get that uh, additional FRC in your life. So if you've got a few bucks a month, um, you can we certainly appreciate it. And you can help us out to create more shows. Wow. Sorry. Pesto or pasta <laughs> is excited. She's very excited. See, she very wants excited support. for the IRI. She wants our support as well. Um, <laughs> so if you don't have a couple bucks to share, make sure you tell people about fun. This is a place um, to be if you really want to get involved in the first. And don't forget to check out our Discord, which is ever growing at discord.gg slash first updates now. So before we wrap up officially, Tyler, what's going on in fun over the next few days? Well, I do want to get, since we just heard pasta and pesto, uh, Christine, I think we have to give a oh. plug. Here, oh yeah! Uh, for the uh, photo contest, why don't you tell us about yeah. that a little bit? So I completely forgot at some point, like during my you know nights of insomnia, I like submitted them for some photo contest, and they are one of the finalists. So I'm gonna post the link in chat. But if you feel like voting for them or one of the other cute dogs on there, go ahead. Um, if we're like one of the top seven dogs, we get featured in a calendar. So. Help me become a stay-at-home dog mom, you know? <laughs> Why not? That's the dream. That's really the goal right now. So, yeah, go ahead. And there's, like, you can vote for a cat, too, and another small animal. There's a snake called Noodle here <laughs> that I voted for. Wow, sorry. It's been a long day for these two. Um, but, yeah, they're ready for IRI. They got their corn, corn bandanas. But you should go vote for them. Very cool. Yay. One other plug to make as well, too, Uh we're uh, partnering up with a company called Sunset Hill Stoneware. Uh, that if, but does anybody have their fun mugs with them? I do with mine, but Chris, no. usually, uh, usually have yours. I thought I just thousand. saw one. I thought someone had one. I don't have mine because it's in the Neutron's lab, which is under construction, because I safely wrapped it up and put it there after champs. But they are the nicest mugs. Like, that is legitimate. Um, like, somebody made it by hand. Stoneware is the shiz. So. And Christy's yeah, an art teacher, so you can take that. Mug I've ever <laughs> yeah, I went to art school, like, so you no can. No kidding. You it's can, huge like... too. Uh, yeah. So, so we are uh, Sun Sales Stoneware is starting a fundraising program where you can earn eight fifty per mug that you sell. The mugs sell for twenty five dollars. You get eight fifty in pure profit. That includes shipping. You get to customize your own logo right on Ooh. it, so you can see what some examples are like right on there. Uh, and we have a bonus uh, code offer. Uh, fun 50 if you type in fun 50 upon checkout uh, you actually um, when you submit your logo you'll actually get custom uh, fundraising sheets so we'll have a actual mock-up of your mug that you can take around if you want people to see what it's going to look like uh, and then type in fun 50 upon checkout you get an extra 50 cents profit per mug so nine dollars per oh. mug guarantees you over 200 dollars for a 24 piece order so not too shabby uh, go check that out if you're interested in getting uh, more uh, cool uh, custom pieces that last a lifetime and as christine said 100 percent handmade in the usa dishwasher microwave oven safe as well uh, so sunsethillstoneware.com forward slash fundraising for that. Uh, coming up on fun, by the way, in the next few weeks, uh, tomorrow, if you're an FTC fan, we have the Maryland Tech Invitational Recap with some awesome interviews and discussions. You can uh, check out our Discord if you're interested in asking our guests any questions for that. Uh, next Tuesday, we have uh, Fun Analysis. We'll be back breaking down matches of IRI. So if you can't get enough IRI, we got some more for you next week uh, with Fun Analysis next Tuesday. Uh, speaking of which, uh, by the way, uh, 
host. So, uh, Ben, you're going to be attending IRI uh, both days. Is yep. that correct? Absolutely. All right. Very cool. And I will be there, as I mentioned, on Saturday. So please come say hi to both of us. We'd love to uh, talk about uh, uh, fun or uh, Ben, I'm sure, would love to talk about his team and stuff. But just come say hi. We'd love to meet people uh, who uh, – who uh, watch our content. So please come say hi in Twitch chat. I'll be there. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, Don't forget to check out uh, IRI on the blue Alliance uh, this weekend at the blue Alliance.com. The place to be with the best chat room, of course, as well too. Uh, So can't wait for all that as well. Uh, By the way, speaking of which uh, we're going to just read off uh, those who have supported us. Uh, I didn't read off yesterday's show. So I'm just going to go through a few real quick. Ashano 45, 10 months of support. Nick Glass, 16 months of support. RCAT 51, 10 months. Comaster 1018 with seven months. Rooster 2655 with uh, eight months, uh, seven in a row. Thank you. Uh, Golfer 4646, some bits. Nick Cousins with uh, 16 months. First Capital R3D with some bits. Uh, Kurtanjak uh, coming in. Donnie just giving just crap tons of bits yesterday. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Fidgen 27 uh, with 500 bits yesterday. Uh, Nebula's WRL 99 with a prime or a tier one sub. Sorry. Uh, Connor yesterday actually uh, gifted five tier one subs. If you missed out on the draft yesterday, you guys wow. got to make sure you watch live. Uh, thanks, Connor. Matthew with 105 bits. Uh, Nick Bowen with a tier one sub. Lino C, 18 months of support. Buddy Pop, 713, tier one. Show action with a tier one. See Sherman, five months support. Says IRI hype. Mike Stark coming in with 28 months. Dirk Bikers with 10 months. A read 48 with a tier one sub. A Scassian. Uh, make sure you go check her out at twitch.tv forward slash Scassian. That's Libby with uh, 30 months in a row. Thanks a lot, Libby. Justin with a tier one sub. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Connor with some, some more bits. And that softer dude with 12 months of support. So, guys, thank you so much for keeping fun, loud, live and independent uh, we love creating content for you we need some funds to do it we run on a shoestring budget uh, but we do what we can for you uh, so thank you so much for your support uh, and if you can't support us you know what that's okay not everybody has money don't forget you can check that free twitch prime sub but just tell people about fun we got a whole new class of students coming in guys right students are graduating after their first year uh, start getting in the fun start getting in this culture tell them about it Get them to start watching it. That's what we want is to build an awesome community where you can get more uh, first robotics in your life. Come join the greatness here on fun. Yeah. So on behalf of myself, Justin, Tegan, Ben, and our wonderful producer, Tyler, um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and thank you to all of our moderators and chat. And we'll see you next time on fun. And we will talk to you then. Toodaloo. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.